Let's add a custom advanced block to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found some back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom advanced block to Minecraft. So similarly to the advanced item that we've seen last time, this time we'll do the same thing. However, instead of a custom item class, it's going to be a custom block class. So in the same vein, in the block package, we're going to right click new package and we'll call this custom. And then inside there, we'll right click new Java class and we'll call this the magic block. So this is a sort of generic magic block. I'm going to do I sort of like two or three things with it that are going to be quite interesting. So for this magic block, this will extend, of course, the block class, making sure we choose the block class from net Minecraft block right here. That's very important. And then when we choose this, we can simply hit tab to auto complete it. And it's going to import that block class right here. We can then hover over this create constructor matching super. And in theory, once again, we should be good to go. And this is actually all of our block that we basically need for a custom block class or a custom advanced block of course no functionality sort of defeats the purpose here and for that what we can once again do is we can just start typing an override right here and then here we can see every single method from either the abstract block or the block class that we could overwrite and there are quite a few of them right once again highly recommended to click on a block over here control h to show the hierarchy and then you can expand it all and you can basically see every single block class from vanilla right here including all of its well, all of its code, right? So I don't even know. A short plan block, a nether word block. I don't know if that's like very interesting, to be honest. But like maybe there are, maybe there's, maybe let's take a look at the magma block, for example, right? That one's always quite interesting. It's like you damage an entity when it steps on the magma block. And there's also a couple of other things over here when it comes to the bubble column, for example. So that is pretty cool already. And like I said, highly recommended to literally just check out any of those blocks. That is always really cool. Now, in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to do, well, basically like two things. The first one is when we are going to make the magic block right clickable. And when you right click it, then a sound will appear. That's the first thing. And to do that, we're going to overwrite the onUse method right here. This is the method that gets called when you right click a block, right in this case, the magic block without any item in your inventory. And here, we literally just wanted to do two things. We want to return an action result of success. This is going to add a right-clicking animation to our right-click, right? So basically, when we right-click, then our arm is going to swing. And then we were going to say world.playSound. And here, we're going to pass in the player. We're going to pass in the position, then sound events dot. And then let's just do the amethyst chime. I think that that's going to be fine. So at block amethyst underscore block underscore chime. There you go. Tap to autocomplete that. The sound category is going to be blocks. And then we can even, if we wanted to, change both the either the volume or the pitch. In this case, we're going to keep both of them at the same volume and the pitch, right? So both of, is, both of them are going to be one. Usually what Minecraft does is they vary the pitch a little bit in with a random number over here. That's basically usually what they do so that each of the sounds uh, sounds just a little bit different so that it doesn't sort of, you know, get annoying, basically. And the second thing we're going to do is when we throw an item onto our magic block, it's going to magically, like a magic block, you would suppose a magic block does, it's going to transform that particular item into something else. That's going to be very interesting indeed. And the way that we're going to do this is with the on stepped on method, this one right here. So once again, just type it out, press tapped auto completed and then here we first of all have to check well wait a second what is going on right this entity over here has just stepped on this particular block we first of all need to make sure well wait a second is this entity even an item because if it's not an item well i mean then it's not it doesn't really do anything uh, then we can't actually change it right i mean i suppose we could still change it it would involve a few more steps so the first thing we're going to say is if entity instance of item entity right so this is, a, is a, if this is an item entity right here right so this one right here item entity and we're going to immediately cast it to an item entity if this is the case and we can then say well if the item right that we've just seen and we're getting the stack from that and then we're getting the item from that right so the actual item if that is equal to let's say mod items dot let's do a raw pink garnet for the sake of argument here right so if we throw a raw pink garnet onto our magic block then i actually want to say item and this is going to be our item entity maybe calling this item entity is a little bit clearer i think that that's actually fair right so item entity and then if we have this then i simply want to set the stack of it to a new item stack 
let's say of item start diamond, right? So we're going to transform it into a diamond and I want to make sure to get the stack count beforehand so that we're actually setting the count here as well. Just making sure that the parentheses are placed in the correct order and then we should pretty much be good to go here. There you go. And that's actually all we require in this case. We have made the block right clickable and we have made it so that when a well when an item is thrown onto it, it changes. Do note that any more complicated logic right here, where you're like, oh, I have like three different items on there and they you know interact with each other and there's particle spawning, that is not you would not do that in you know in the on stepped on method. You would probably make a custom block entity for that. That is a little bit more complicated. This is a little bit of a hacky way to also do it. So keep that in mind as well. But with that done, let's go to the mod blocks class and actually register our block. In this case, so it's going to be a public static final block, and it's going to be our magic underscore block equal to the register block method. I'm going to call this the magic underscore block, of course. And there's going to be a new, very important magic block, right? Very important that we don't forget to actually call the proper magic block over here. I'm going to do settings start create, and then we're going to do, let's do a strength of one and requires tool. I think that that's fair. And I think the rest is going to be Okay, let's add the magic block to the item group over here. That's going to be simply the block items, of course, magic block. And then, well, we're going to go through all of the craziness when it comes to blocks. That is going to be, of course, block states, JSON file, a lang. Let's actually do the translation first, because, I mean, that is very, very straightforward. And then when it comes to all of the different JSON files, well, once again, what did I tell what did I teach you, right? You just drag a similar file into the same folder while holding control, and then you can just change the name right here. As always, of course, all of the different JSON files and all of the code is all also available down below for download and or in the GitHub repository. So you should be basically good to go with having the block states JSON file, the item model and the block model JSON file. We now just simply need the texture, which of course is also available for download as the magic underscore block here in this case. And there we freaking go. That is all of the steps that we need in this case. Once again, when it comes to any sort of functionality that you want to add to a, you know, a custom advanced block, of course, the depth really is once again sort of sealed by, well, how much Java knowledge do you have, right? How many things can you like come up with? And also one thing here is that, you know, does it make sense to actually do it with, let's say, the on stepped on method? Or does it make sense to use it, do it with the on use method, right? Because there are parts where you, you could be like, well, I actually want this really complicated thing. And maybe, you know, quote unquote, just an advanced block is not enough. You actually need something like a block entity or something similar. Whatever the case may be, though, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, finally, I was back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the magic block has been added to the game. So let's set it down. And if I were to right click it, let's hear. I'll definitely have to turn this up in post just a little bit, but yes, so the right clicking absolutely works and we get a, well, a different sound. And now if I were to take some raw pink garnet, let's first of all, uh, turn down the master volume again, just a little bit over here. I think 25% is going to be fine. If I throw on a pink garnet, a raw pink garnet rather, right? I, and I actually hit, I mean, look at that. It turns into a freaking diamond. Look at this. Unlimited freaking diamonds for everyone, right? And this includes, if I throw the whole stack on there, yes, it turns into 44. So now we got a whole freaking stack. And yes, it does not work with any other item, right? Whether or not it'd be a block over here or I throw pink garnet on there, that all doesn't work because we specifically said, hey, only raw pink garnet is going to turn, yeah, exactly, into some diamonds. That is freaking awesome and a cool example of a custom advanced block added to Minecraft. And as I've said, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, well, there's going to be a custom food and custom fuel added. So hope to see you there. So yeah.